So you've spent loads of time getting your tattoo stencil perfect, you've laid it on the skin, and just before you go to tattoo, your machine just kicks out loads of ink and it splatters all over your stencil and completely ruins it. Well join me in this video guys, where I'm not only going to be discussing the common causes of this, but more importantly I'm going to be showing you how to fix them, which is ultimately going to improve your tattoos and bring up that tattoo confidence. Hey everyone, welcome to this video and today we're finally going to put to bed the reason that your tattoo machine is kicking ink all over the skin and completely ruining your stencil. Now the reason this is so important to know how to avoid is because let's say you're doing something quite intricate like a realism tattoo or a portrait tattoo and then you go to tattoo it and ink just goes everywhere then you're going to be in a world of pain because you're going to lose half your stencil, you're going to be second guessing everything and it's just going to be a complete nightmare. So coming up in this video I'm going to be showing you the most common reasons why this happens with a coil machine and also a rotary pen style machine and also how to fix them. So with all that said guys sit back enjoy, let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. Okay guys so the first thing we need to do is put our stencil on the practice skin there going to be using a minion throughout this video for our demonstrations. I'm going to fill some ink up and then we're going to look at our first problem. So with these first set of problems we're going to replicate them all with a coil machine. So the first one is no elastic band. So we approach our design with our machine there, we've loaded it with ink and watch what happens as soon as I press the foot switch down. You can see ink is sprayed all over the stencil. Now just to show you this isn't a fluke, I'm going to do it again at the top. Now if this was on an actual design on someone's skin and it was quite an intricate design, we'd be in a lot of trouble right now. So you could try to save it by dabbing it, never wiping it, but you can see the ink is still dissolving the stencil there. And if you don't dab it, you'll go from bad to worse and this is what will happen. And trust me, you never want to be in this situation, especially if you've got quite an intricate stencil and you just wipe it across like that, even though that's a pretty cool effect which has just happened on the minion's mouth there. So super easy to fix this first problem, we just add an elastic band to the machine. If you don't know why we use elastic bands on coal machines, I do cover this in depth in another video. So I'll stick that card up on the screen and if you click that you can watch it at the end of this video. So now we're going to quickly remove our ruined stencil, apply it another stencil, and we'll go to the next problem. Machine too fast. Now if your machine's running too fast you can overwork the skin and it can cause the ink to spray. Now a coil machine can run too fast if you screw the contact screw down too far and also with a rotary machine if you put too many volts into it. So this is what happens when the machine runs too fast. Straight away you can see the ink has just completely covered our stencil and if we try to dab it with the wipe there, you can see it's doing what it did before and the ink is just basically dissolving our stencil and making a mess. So the solution for this problem is super easy, we just back out the contact screw which will slow down our coil machine and for our rotary we just lower the voltage. Let's remove that old stencil, apply a nice new fresh one again and on to the next problem. So this problem is a clogged up tip. Now if you've got any sort of obstruction in the tip, this is going to restrict ink flow and also cause random sprays of ink. Now because I'm not actually tattooing anyone in this video, I'm going to have to replicate that I have been tattooing someone and the Vaseline started to build up in the tip. So here you can see I'm just doing one tiny dab in that Vaseline there. That's all it takes to block that tip. So now look what happens when I run the machine when the tip is obstructed you can see the ink is just spraying randomly all over the design. So this is a really, really simple fix. It's just a matter of giving the machine a nice good rinse in your distilled water, giving it a really good swirl round in there. And you do this little and often and it'll just help keep that tip nice and clean and then make sure you dry it with your paper towel. So now we're going to run the machine with all the issues fixed and see what difference it makes. So we've attached an elastic band, we've got the correct machine speed and we've also cleaned the tip. So for this demonstration we're quickly going to remove that old stencil and apply a nice new fresh one. And you'll see when we run the machine now there's no ink spraying or splattering anywhere. 
it's completely clean, the design underneath where the needle's running. And I'm even stop starting the machine, trying to force some ink out of there, but just nothing will come out. It's just remaining in the tip. And to prove that this isn't an empty tip or anything like that, I'm not even going to cut the video. I'm just going to, in the same take, show you me pulling a line with it, just to show you that there is actual ink in that tip. You can see there, I'm just pulling that line down there. It's nice and solid and saturated because we've got just the right amount of ink in there with no obstructions, with the machine running at the right speed and with the elastic band on. So next up, we're going to switch our coil machine for our Cheyenne pen. I'm going to attach the power supply there, which is a universal battery by Critical. I'll leave a card up on the screen if you want to see a review for that. We're going to use an MV Gen 2 cartridge. That's all rigged up and ready to go. So let's look at our first common problem. This being wipe clogging up the tip. Another factor which makes a massive difference is using a good quality wipe as well. If you use cheap wipes, they tend to clog up the tip really quick. So here's an example of how this might happen. So after rinsing your machine in the rinse cup, you then take your wipe just to dab the end of the needle. But sometimes the wipe can break off and get stuck in the needle. And you can see there a close up on that, it's made an obstruction in the tip. So when you've got anything obstructing the ink flow in the tip, this is what's going to happen to the ink. And again, if this was an intricate stencil or anything like that, you're going to be battling with yourself just to keep your work area nice and clean. So the solution for this problem is to firstly rinse the tip and then start wiping it in a downwards motion. And by doing this in a downwards motion, you're going to massively reduce the risk of getting any paper towel jammed on the needle. So our next problem is rinse water in the tip. Now this can cause a pooling of water and ink mix on the skin. It can also flood the stencil and it tends to be worse when you ride the tube. If you don't know what riding the tube is, I'll stick a card up on the screen and you can watch that video at the end of this one. So an example when this might happen would be when you're giving your needles a really, really good rinse in the rinse cup there, just swilling it round and all that water is being drawn up into the tip, but then you don't really dry the needle off. You just give it a little dab and this is the result. You can see as soon as I touch down, I'm actually riding the tube there as well and it's just kicking out all that excess liquid, all that rinse water onto your stencil and it's just making a big mess on top of that stencil, on top of the skin, which again is going to cause you lots and lots of problems. Simple solution to this one, you're just making sure that that tip and needle is really, really dried out with a paper towel before moving on to filling more ink up. So the final problem we're going to look at is probably the most common problem which I see and it's loading excessive ink into the tip. Now if you make this mistake you can actually have ink spraying out of the tip when you run the machine and it can actually completely destroy your stencil in a very small amount of time if you're not careful. Now a common mistake people make is when they're loading ink into the tip they're just running the machine in there giving it a good swirl around and you can see how much ink's been loaded into that and when you run the machine over the skin you just get this fountain going all over the stencil and it can destroy it in a very very small amount of time. So to fix this problem we take our machine, we don't run it, we dip it in the ink cup and then just give it a quick blast of power and you can see the ink's been drawn up into the tip there and that is all we need to pull a line. So now we know the common causes and more importantly how to avoid ink splatter from your machine. In this next section I've just done a quick time lapse start to finish of the whole tattoo which is going to be over 30 seconds using a machine with zero ink splatter.
Thank you so much for watching this video guys and if you did like it, it means the world to me if you just take a second out right now, smash that like button just to let me know that you've liked it and it also lets me know what you guys are liking so I know where to steer the channel for future videos. Feel free to drop your comments in the box below and let me know if you've had this problem and also how you fixed it. I always try my absolute best to reply to as many comments as I possibly can. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed, don't forget to click the notification bell and that'll keep you up to date with all my latest uploads. With all that said guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.